Now we will go through the instruments used for stepidectomy. They are the ear micro instruments. So every ear surgery starts with a ear speculum. Either you can go a transcanal approach for stepidectomy or you can go a postural approach in case the external auditory canal is narrow, you cannot see the entire rim of tympanic membrane, then it is better to go with a postural approach. So if you are going through a transcanal approach, the must one is ear speculum. So here you can see three types of ear speculum. The one here is an Hartmann oral speculum. Hartmann. So this is actually funnel shaped. It is funnel shaped and has no slit in its body. See it has no slit. The outer end of the speculum is, provide, uh, is thickened to provide a better grip. In all oral speculum the outer end is thickened. The oral end uh, it is here you can see the oral end and it is uh, to match the position of the eardrum so it is available in different sizes you can see it here there are different sizes mainly it is available in four different sizes to suit the different dimensions of the external artery canal so this one is Hartman oral speculum one is Shia, Shia's oral speculum. It is also non-self-retaining. It does not have a slit in its body. But what is the difference with the heart man? Here, see the oral end. This oral end is beveled. Here it is not beveled. Here it is beveled. See, it is beveled in order to match the angulation of the eardrum. The speculum straightens the external auditory canal and it also holds the cartilaginous portion of the external canal apart enabling the eardrum to be visualized better. See? And basically Shia designed this speculum to perform stepidectomy where he can uh, visualize the entire uh, tympanic membrane especially the posterior superior portion of the tympanic membrane. That visualization of the posterior superior part of the tympanic membrane is a must in case of stepidectomy. So this one is Hartman and this beveled oral end. This is Shia and Shia is also available in different sizes. Here I have only one at present. Like uh, this one there are different sizes for this also. And this in this speculum you can see a slot. See. So this is two markings slotted oral speculum. This is also available in different sizes. This slot is complete one. If it is only partial, then it is uh, Rosen's oral speculum, uh, where this slot will be partial. This one is complete, so complete slot is the two markings uh, slotted oral speculum. Use of this slot, this will help the surgeon to infiltrate the uh, external artery canal with the local anesthesia and as you uh, rotate the speculum this slot also rotates so the infiltration of local anesthesia into the external artery canal will be easy and uh, the thing is you should be careful not to touch the bony canal with this uh, oral end because it will cause severe pain to the patient so this should, uh, speculum, speculum should be inserted up to the cartilaginous portion of the external artery canal. So this is uh, two markings slotted ear speculum. Okay, this is two markings slotted ear speculum. So Hartman, Shia and two marking. And if the slot is half, then it becomes a Rosen's uh, oral speculum, which is designed by a uh, very renowned uh, otologist Rosen. Okay, it's partially Rosen's uh, oral speculum will be partially slotted but the slot does not extend up to the tip of the speculum. Okay and if it is complete then it becomes two marking. Okay. After putting the speculum we have to clean the external artery canal and if any debris or wax that has to be removed. So the one used for all micro uh, middle ear surgery we use it and also for removal of uh, any 
foreign body or to hold the cotton ball before oral packing all this we use this this is hartman's oral dressing forceps you can see the see the tip here this tip is uh, serrated okay this part is tip is serrated okay so this is hartman's oral dressing forceps this one is round cutting knife or the rosen circular knife here you can see the tip and this tip is angled 90 degree upwards both these are rosen circular knife actually this was originally designed to one uh, designed by rosen and here there are some modification you can see small holes in the uh, circular surface so with this through this you can suck if blood or uh, blood if any so that the tympanometrial flap will not get uh, damaged tear of tympanometrial flap will not happen and the use of this rosen circular knife is to elevate the tympanometrial flap okay so after putting an incision or the uh, skin of the external lottery canal we have to elevate the tympanometrial flap so for this round knife is used is a rosen circular knife or a round cutting knife okay if the tip of the knife is like flag flag knife if it is like this rather than a round then it becomes a flag knife okay or a cluster knife this is also uh, used to elevate the tympanometrial flap in case of middle ear surgeries like meningoplasty, tympanoplasty, uh, stepidectomy etc. Okay, so a round knife and flag knife. This one is sickle knife. Uh, at the time, uh, while elevating the tympanometrial flap, when you reach the annulus, this sickle knife will help to elevate the annulus without any damage. So along with the round knife or your flag knife, you can also use this sickle knife. The end of it, like a sickle okay micro sickle ear knife house curet double ended house curet this is used for the removal of bony overhang both side there are uh, curating end double ended house curet one end see this curet so we can curet the bony overhang and adequate exposure means neck and handle of the malleus should be seen anteriorly and the round window inferiorly and the pyramidal process posteriorly and horizontal portion of the facial nerve superiorly. So these landmarks has to be visualized after successful removal of the bony uh, overhang. Okay, so for this, this house curate will help you. It is a double ended house curate for removal of the bony overhang. And while doing this curettage, the care should be taken to avoid damage to the cordotimbani nerve. Because that, that area, the cordotimbani nerve comes, so you should be very careful not to damage the cordotimbani. This is also a curate, but one sided curate, and on the other side, there is a. Okay, this one. Cell seeker. Okay, so with this you can seek somewhere or cells and on the other side there is a curate. These are ear micro suction tip with an adapter and different sizes of suction tips. Uh, to this adapter we can connect the suction tip of multiple sizes. And if more minute connections are needed again this can be connected to the end of this. Okay, so these are all, this is adapter along with the suction tips for micro ear surgeries. These are uh, straight pick and angled pick. You can see the tip of this, straight pick and the straight pick if it falls on ground also it becomes an angled pick like this. Okay, so straight pick and angled uh, pick. Straight pick that is uh, in sepidectomy after exposure. The ossicular chain has to be palpated. So, 
uh, that is to confirm your diagnosis. So you can use this straight pick to, con uh, to palpate the ingudocepital joint and also if needed separation of the ingudocepital joint and also fracture of the stapes super, super structure can be do uh, done with this. So that fits with the quick downward pressure towards the promontory you can fracture the stapes super structure. Okay. So this is straight pick. Wolstein's micro cup forceps and micro scissor. You can see the tip of this. These are uh, this is a scissors micro scissors. With this we can cut the stapedius tendon. Okay, this is scissor micro ear scissor and. This one is cup forceps, Wolstein micro cup forceps. Straight cup is there and also upturned, upturned is also there. You can see the difference. This one is straight and this one is upturned. So on opening it goes like this. Okay. So Wolstein micro cup forceps upturned as well as straight forceps. What is the use? Okay, this one straight and this is upturned and also downward ones are also available if it goes like this. Okay, downward cups are also available. So straight, upward and downward. This is used in all middle ear surgeries. Okay, so especially the straight one is very good for uh, putting the temp uh, facial graft at its place. Okay, so Wolstein's micro cup forceps. Hartman micro alligator forceps that is alligator forceps see the tip this is serrated also ok the tip is serrated you can see the you should not confuse this with the cup forceps cup is like cup only and this one is alligator like the move it opens and closes like it opens and closes like that of an alligator. Okay. One sided alligator. And Hartman micro alligator and Wolstein cup forceps. This one is introducer. Introducer of the uh, graft. You can see the tip. This will easily, it's very easy to uh, put the or to introduce or to uh, keep the graft in place as an uh, straight pick and if at the uh, from the tip if there is a small projection that become a house micro measuring road okay from the the distance from the uh, foot plate step is foot plate up to the long process of incus can be measured it, it is it's not this not this one but similar to a straight pick from the tip there is a small elevation like this so it can be 3.5 millimeter from the uh, tip or it can be 4 millimeters from the tip or it can be 4.5 millimeter from the tip or it can be 5 millimeters from the tip from the tip so then it become a house measuring road okay thing is measuring jig so this is a stainless steel thing with uh, multiple small small holes in this and the marking become 4 4.5 4.5 millimeter from starting from 3 3.5 4 4, 4 and a half, 5 millimeters so the piston can be the after measuring the distance from stapes foot plate to the long pros of incus using the measuring road the size can be evaluated and the piston can be put into these holes of the corresponding length and the size can be adjusted okay so this is measuring jig that is all about the micro ear instruments used for stapedectomy